So, <clears throat> they want to build a house here. Cameron, Ray, Trust, Judge Worth, Buddies. <clears throat> and that garage is a separate lot from mine. That's my house right there. Dr. Caswell's the original owner of both lots. The house went up first. Who knows when he put this garage on this lot and did it right on the property line because he owned both lots but never subdivided, never <clears throat> did anything about it because he figured he didn't get a permit or anything. And it's got a concrete foundation as well. Then in 1990 or whenever, <clears throat> 92, 94 I think it was, it, the survey says that the estate was settled. The boys split it up. They could have got a variance there. They both owned it. And <laughs> this family matter. Boom. Done. No, they didn't. And one of the brothers dies. Karen Caswell, the wife, has had this. Since I moved in here in 2010, she immediately put it up for sale. And then shit started hitting the fan. All this water started flying down in here and I found out about it started all this corruption exposing what the hell was going on. <clears throat> so, they hate me. All downtown. Mostly. So all the guys got to do is just friggin' move the garage. He bought it knowing that it was on the... They bought it because... To take me down. Because <laughs> this lot's been up for sale for... Pff, since 2010. And what they're doing here to Seaview Terrace, it's inverse condemnation where they, the government will flood a property that they want and then this way the owners don't get any uh, compensation. They just take it. <clears throat> So anyway, so they bought, and now they're trying to come into 20 feet into my property. Um, I was taking a tree, trimming a tree on my property months ago when Karen Caswell still owned it. And she called the cops on me, and the cops come over here and, you know, giving me a hard time. And, well, trying to f get information from me to really screw me. And then uh, Chief McFadden, corrupt as hell, then he's... he's uh, Send it to the DA. I'm on my property trimming my, my tree. With, you know, my children. All. Yeah, yeah. So, anyway. So then this guy moves in. This Bo Cameron buys it. That's the hierarchy of the... Excuse me, meatheads. There's nothing else. You know, I just can't keep... <laughs> I gotta vent a little, too. And there's only so much I can say without getting thrown in the clinker. And I welcomed to the neighborhood, even after I found out that he was Judge Worth's friend and stuff, and said, look, <clears throat> I'll sign off on a variant, and let's just, like, live happily ever after. I said, you don't even have to get a variance, probably, because Judge Worth's your buddy, so what do you want me to sign? Let's do it. And he didn't do it. And then he starts coming over here and trespassing and stuff, and then, uh, it's a whole long story. But anyway, my property line runs right up alongside the garage, right to the road. So he can't even get in his side door over here. So it's just been escalating. You know, I left it open. I didn't care that they went walked on both sides. And then finally I had to bring my sunfish out of here and park it, not on the, the line, but, you know, get get the point across, like, hey, no, that, you're not going to do this. And uh, and then the big meathead, Mark Cameron, Cameron paving, big trucks, big Big boy in town, let's just put it that way, with a freaking Three Stooges mo haircut. <laughs> I, yeah, I mean, he's threatening me. He comes up to my face. Do you understand? Do you understand? And I'm like trying not to bust out laughing. I don't care. <laughs> anyway, he comes over here last week as I'm mourning uh, the suicide of a really long time, actually one of my dearest friends. And uh, I come back, and he's freaking all over this boat. And he friggin' sliced off the air thing trying to get my tire, trying to get the boot lock off to take my boat. <clears throat> and I had been filing a cease harassment trying to get McFadden to file one for three months now. And he, like, blocks my emails. It's just, yeah, <laughs> seven years of this with this guy. He's bad, bad, bad news. He has no problem coming after a, a woman <clears throat> that's been beat to shit and keeps getting back up. Makes... Let me just say, he's a Pee Wee McFadden. He also, to, also used to be the detective for Maine State uh, Internet Porn. His brother-in-law's a secret Time Warner cable rep, getting into everybody's houses and computers and bus and stuff and feeding into the Judge Worth system. Yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. 
<clears throat> so, hey, Bubbles, good morning. How you doing? And he even picked up Bubbles and threw him. And the real estate agent came over here throwing stuff at me, coming onto my lawn as I'm telling her to get off my property. She didn't care. <clears throat> And my beloved sunfish, I've, I've hardly ever used it. I've, it's been so difficult, this life of mine. And it was like time, you know. I was like, finally, all right, I'm going to go sail. And I always have to get rescued. But I was going to not <clears throat> have that happen anymore. I was going to learn how to sail. <laughs> and he sliced that friggin' thing off. And he had a bungee cord around there. Took it off of bubbles, had it wrapped it around there, trying to get the boot lock off. <clears throat> So I called the cops. They don't come because it's me. And I told them I was calling the cops. This is on all other video, but this is just a... <clears throat> and, uh... and he's like, good, call the cops. And I was like, they're not going to come for me. You call them. Get them over here. And I actually called 911 and was getting hard, not a hard time for 911, but he was just like, you know, take a deep breath, blah, blah, blah. And <clears throat> I don't know where they go if they go into local debt. Um, phone centers around here. <laughs> That's another story. But, uh, so they show up like 15 minutes later. It's a young cop who I know. He went to school with my son. He's like trying to say, you know, it's a property line dispute, civil, and, you know, they've been trying to get me into court for Judge Worth to really screw me for the, what, fifth, sixth, seventh time? Anyway, um, <clears throat> and I tell him again on video, I want to see harassment. So he goes over, talks to that guy. <clears throat> Next day, I get a knock on the door. I look outside, and it's a police. I see a police car, and it's that kid. <clears throat> and I uh, came to the window, and he asked him if he got the ceased harassment notice. And he said he did, and he'd like me to come out. So I was like, beautiful, I'd love to come out. So I come out, and he starts reading the ceased harassment notice to me. <laughs> I was like, are you fucking kidding me? And there was another cop standing there, and they actually came up in two cop cars. I'm sure he was wired into McFadden, where McFadden was watched, because he's too cowardly. He's, oh my God, how could you do this to your, to your men? Have them do your dirty work. You're disgusting. And this poor kid, you know, having to read this stuff to me? Oh, fine, I signed it. Yep, let's go. Look at this beautiful house. Come on. I got that rock when they were dig. It's been an assault here since I moved. Blast and drilling back there. Main house almost right on my backyard. They abut me. And uh, ripping up the roads. All preparing because they want this.